Ladies and gentlemen, now we would like to start Subcommittee 4 meeting One Health Initiatives. The first speaker is Dr. Masato Sakai, the Vice President and Executive Director of the Japan Veterinary Medical Association. His presentation is on One Health Strategy in the Federation of Asian Veterinary Associations of FAVA and the 21st FAVA Congress in Fukuoka. Dr. Sakai, please. Thank you very much for your kind introduction. I am Vice President and Executive Director of JVMA. My name is Sakai. I was born in Okawa City, Fukuoka Prefecture, and I spent my school days in Kurume. So I'm Fukuoka native, and it is my great pleasure to be given this opportunity to talk to you here in Fukuoka. Today, I'd like to introduce to you One Health Strategy in the Federation of Asian Veterinary Associations, as well as the 21st FAVA Congress, slated in November in Fukuoka. Now, FAVA comprises 24 associations from 23 countries in Asia. Last year in June, the US Veterinary Association joined in, and there are certainly the U.S. Uh, islands in southern part of uh, Pacific. How about the relationship of Fava between the Japan Veterinary Medical Association? Fava was launched in 1978. The second Fava Congress was held in Tokyo in 1980. At that time, Dr. Seiichi Tsubaki became the president of Fava, followed by Dr. Sugiyama who was also inaugurated as the president. And these two doctors served as the presidents for 15 years in total. The ninth FAVA Congress, as well as the World Veterinary Congress was hosted in Yokohama in 1995. And we had the pleasure of having the emperor and the empress present. The following year of March 11, 2011, the council meeting of FAVA, the 33rd council meeting, was held. And the delegation visited shelters in Fukushima. Dr. Kurauchi was inaugurated in 2020 as the vice president of FAVA and will be inaugurated as the president at the 21st FAVA Congress in Fukuoka this year. The Secretariat is located in Thai, Bangkok, Thailand. However, for the next FAVA Congress, we are having its branch in Japan now. The president is Dr. Kwaza from Malaysia. The vice president, the immediate past president, is Dr. Hero from Indonesia. And president-elect and vice president is Dr. Kurauchi. And these are the members of the executive committee. Dr. Kwaza on the left from Malaysia is the current president. Next to him is Dr. Heru from Indonesia. And then Dr. Kurauchi. On the right, you see the secretary general, Dr. Bambang of Indonesia. Left bottom is Dr. Korason from the Philippines, the treasurer. And then Dr. Tin from Myanmar is an auditor and the director of Fava Bangkok office is Dr. Ajaria. Now, let me go into the strategic plans of Fava, which was finalized in November two years ago. This is a five year strategic plan which covers six sectors. Number one is internal collaboration, and number two, one health, and number three, education. Number four, animal welfare. Number five, AMR, and number six, food security and safety. So out of those six areas, four areas are uh, have committees chaired by Japanese doctors, veterinarians. There is one uh, one area is One Health. 
which tackles such topics as providing education and training and the importance of threat of emerging and re-emerging diseases to be communicated. And number three is contributing to policy work on One Health. Now, in order to implement these strategic plans, we have five-year action plans, which also has challenges and basic policies. There are four basic policies. Number one, responses to zoonosis. The professional and scientific evidence should be the basis of identifying the vectors, path, and hosts for zoonosis and professionals and citizens should be educated on zoonosis in order to protect the lives and health of the population. Number two is AMR. This is another area which is also covered by One Health. Inappropriate uses of antimicrobials can enhance the growth of AMR, which is also happening in Japan and becoming a major threat. Working with the WHO and other organizations, AMR responses should be developed. And number three is environmental protection. With the changes in ecologies, the COVID-19 or other viruses, which live, lived only in a forest can come in contact with humans. Therefore, we must promote environmental protection with the division of habitats in mind. And number four is symbiotic society with companion animals, which are now part of the families contributing to mental health and QOL. And pets can be leveraged in healthcare, welfare, and education. On the other hand, abuse and inappropriate care should be minimized. Harm to companion animals should be eliminated for better relationship with humans. And also at the time of disasters, the companion animals have to be have to accompany the owners for better evacuation and relief. Policies must be formulated. And once again, the division of habitats should be all uh, kept in mind all the time. Now, there are roles to be played by national veterinarian associations. FAVA, based on basic policies, continues to offer information and education and materials for education of the media and populations and continues to advise policy making. Number two is the roles of the member national associations, which is responsible in disseminating FAVA provided information to its members and leverage teaching materials provided by FAVA to educate the media and the population. Now, the next one talks about the pharmaceutical stewardship, the prudent use of pharmaceuticals. Under this topic, policy work and related activities on the responsible and prudent use of antibiotics antimicrobials, education, training, and public awareness on AMR, advocacy on the availability and access to quality pharmaceuticals and biologics, and contribute to global AMR discussions as they pertain to veterinarians and their access to and use of antimicrobials. Once again, five-year action plan exists for AMRs with six 
targets. Number one is about education promotion. And number two is monitoring and surveillance. Number three is prevention of infectious diseases and better control. The appropriate use of antimicrobials, R&D and drug discovery. And the last target is promotion of international cooperation. WHO's action plans overlap with five of those top targets. And number six is a Japan-specific action plan. And this one shows the aim or bacteria's propagation path. In human health, antimicrobials are largely used. When they are used, selection pressure is applied so that the antimicrobial resistant bacteria increase. The same happens in veterinarian or animal health. And selection on the same selection pressure is applied to enhance the antimicrobials resistant bacteria. In husbandry, not only antimicrobials, the antimicrobial feed additives are also used. Once again, the pressure selected bacteria can come into food. And in agriculture, also antimicrobials and antibiotics are used, which can seep into the environment to reach animals and human. So multi-sectoral responses are necessary. Now, there are some specific activities under the action plan. The first bullet talks about the public symposium for better education about AMR. Now, in November is AMR response month. And during that time, we work with FAO to hold webinars. And the third bullet is making leaflets and guidebooks about AMR for vets. And the next bullet point is the uh, establishing national monitoring system for pathogenic bacteria and indication bacteria. And the second from the bottom is understanding the how human antimicrobials are used for companion animals. We don't know the status and we have to study it. And the last bullet point is pharmaceutical stewardship. Expected results are as follows. Number one, enhancing knowledge of the population about AMR, enhanced education for vets and other professionals. Number three, monitoring system of AMR. Number four, prevention of expansion of AMR with better control, appropriate use of antimicrobials in livestock and companion animals, Bacterial infection prevention um, requires also uh, drug discovery and the R&D for uh, micro, uh, antimicrobials, excuse me. And then the promotion of uh, coordination with member nations and international organizations. So far, we have seen some results in reduced use of antimicrobials in livestock and companion animals with a reduced resistance to tetracycline in livestock in uh, industries and other uh, antibiotics used in livestock industries and redu reduced resistance to uh, important uh, human antibiotics, reduction in infectious diseases, redu reduction of human medicines in animals And the veterinarian pharmaceuticals uh, should be um, accelerated in approvals and R&D and supply of veterinary uh, pharmaceuticals should be further promoted. And uh, we have also seen an increase in the number of webinars and seminars sponsored by FAVA and international organizations. Here is the outline of the action plans the pharmaceutical stewardship, 
is a very uh, wide-reaching concept. Just like WHO's action plan, the pharmaceutical stewardship for antimicrobials uh, has become a part of the action plan. The selection of the, based on pressure should be avoided. avoided. Therefore, the AMR has to cover both livestock and companion animals. And the situation in different member countries are very different from each other. Therefore, the FAVA's action plan is intentionally made a generic one with multiple options from which member countries can pick and choose. Now, these have been the strategic plans of FAVA. Now let me talk about the 21st FAVA Congress slated in November in Fukuoka. You see the logos on the left is JVMA logo, on the right is the FAVA logo. And I'm also wearing the badge, which has two of those logos. Now, here is the outline of the FAVA Congress. This is going to be the 21st FAVA Congress, which is also held in conjunction with the 40th Japan Veterinary Medical Association's Congress. The Congress is slated for four days, starting November 11th at Hilton Fukuoka Seahawk. The Japan Veterinarian Medical Association, FAVA, are the sponsors and supported by Fukuoka Prefecture and Fukuoka City, we expect to see some 3,000 participants. One Health Approach from Asia is the theme of the con Congress. One Health for Animals and Humans, the hope of the globe. We have already ex started accepting registration. The Our members, as well as other uh, medical professionals like nurses, doctors, pharmac pharmacists can also apply for registration. 30,000 yen for three days for both FAVA and JVMA Congress. And also there are fees for students, nurses, and accompanying persons and so forth and so forth. I hope you will all come in and register with us. And this is an eye chart. Don't worry about the details. So we will have the three days of Congress. Please take a look at the very left hand side. Uh, the brownish color, uh, it shows the opening ceremony in the morning, followed by a special symposium, one, two, three, four, five. So for three days in a row, there are a special symposium. And this is uh, the One Health stream uh, that the topic is always One Health. And there will be simultaneous interpretation available between Japanese and English. And we would like to distribute this um, later on um, so that you can enjoy it on demand. And we are going to invite uh, the more presentations um, and also for blue represents the annual Congress of uh, JVMA, the industrial animals, the small animals, public health, from Asian countries, um, if we don't have that many uh, presentations, then we will make use of that slots um, as JVMA. The day two in the afternoon, uh, there is Fukuoka Prefectural, uh, the One Health International Forum. Uh, just like uh, what we had yesterday, we would like to hold the same thing uh, in November. There is no charge. Anyone can actually come and participate uh, or attend, sorry, attend free of charge. 
And please take a look at the very right hand side of the November the 13th schedule. The FABA or Fukuoka Prefecture One Health International Forum, uh, their breakout sessions. These two sessions are also um, available to uh, the general public. And the very left hand side, uh, it's a, it shows special symposium, uh, but uh, later on, there is no limitation in terms of all the attendance so that the general public can attend. The very right, right hand side shows what we do uh, in uh, the exhibition area. Uh, there will be an exhibition by the companies and the member veterinarians can actually come in contact with or can interface with the private companies there. Um, the Dr. Tasuku Honjo, the Nobel laureate in physiology or medicine in 2018, uh, is going to speak in a commemorative lecture on the 11th of November uh, under the title of discovery of immune checkpoint inhibitors and their application in cancer therapy. You know that he's very well known to have developed a placebo. This is a schedule of special symposium on the 11th. This is a part of One Health Stream, the first special symposium. Uh, it's, the main topic is COVID-19 and uh, the One Health. So we have speakers from Japan and outside of Japan as well. The second, the big title is the Zoonotic Disease and One Health. Uh, this is in the afternoon of the day one. The number of different presentations are being planned. In the morning of day two, uh, the topic is AMR and One Health. We have Dr. Weiss from uh, University Gulf as a representative of, of the, uh, the World Veterinarian Association. And we have Dr. Tateda, whom you often see on TV um, as a commentator on a COVID-19 situation, is also going to give us a special lecture to us. The afternoon of day two, we're planning to hold Fukuoka Prefecture One Health International Forum. And of course, there will be simultaneous in interpretation service available and so that uh, the not just the members, but also general public can uh, come and attend. So this time is a complete, uh, the online based, uh, the Congress, but hopefully in November, uh, there will be uh, some face to face interaction. The morning of day three, uh, th there will be a special symposium as Dr. Kura Uchi, uh, as uh, the moderator or uh, the chairperson will have representation from uh, the JVMA, JMA, WVA, uh, FAVA, and OIE and WHO. Uh, we also hear about veterinarian education in Japan and uh, the how Fukuoka Prefecture is working um, and promoting One Health. And uh, at the end, there will be a presentation by the high school students and the citizens uh, based on what they learn um, as One Health. There will be uh, the Asia One Health Fukuoka Declaration 2022 um, being adopted. And that's the plan. And of course, uh, being signed before ending. This is the trend um, and also concept of international One Health and important points. Please notice that at the very top, uh, there is a human health and the bottom right, animal health and bottom left, the environmental health or conservation of environment. There are three pillars. There has to be a collaboration and coordination amongst the three uh, for the One Health responses. The top right in the area of the health and the medicine, there are related organizations such as WHO, WMA, World Medical Association, FAO, or the UN, uh, the organization. 
are working on responses in the area of medicine for One Health. And bottom right, WVA, World Veterinary Association, and FAVA, and OIE are working in veterinary uh, the medicine for One Health. And these organizations are working together amongst themselves, as well as with uh, the those organizations from uh, the human health. And there have been a number of meetings held uh, the, in the area of uh, the environment. There is CVD and COPs as well. Of course, uh, for human health, the medical doctors, the humans, take the lead and they focus on human health. And that's always the center of what they think of One Health, I believe. And when it comes to veterinarians, we consider humans are also animals and they're poultry, companion animals, wild animals. When we consider One Health, we need to look at all sorts of animals and that's, we are customers to do so. So then that actually matches uh, the, our idea very well uh, that we need to consider One Health under uh, the human, animal and environmental health. And I think we are very much suited to take the lead uh, this One Health responses. November this year, between November and the 11th and the 13th, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, uh, there will be the 21st FAVA Congress and 2022, uh, the JVMA meet, annual meeting. It's very difficult to really forecast how the COVID situation is. It is possible that there could be a restriction in terms of uh, the foreign members uh, the entering this company, I'm sorry, country, but we are very much determined to make this event successful. Hopefully we have a lot of the attendees from Japan and also from the other Asian countries and beyond. And after my speech, I would like you to take a look at the video on this event. So please jot it down that in November, once again, I'll see you all again uh, back in Fukuoka. Thank you very much for your kind attention. The lives of human and animal are the one, and that is the wish of this planet. The Japan Veterinary the Medical Association will host the 21st Federation of Asian Veterinary Association Congress in November 2022. The theme of the Congress is One Health Approach from Asia and will be held in Fukuoka, Japan's leading One Health city. The event will be held for three days from 11th to the 13th, November the 2022. At the Hilton Fukuoka Seahawk, the hotel open to the sea. We are faced with difficult problems such as zoonotic diseases, AMR, and environmental problems. The world needs One Health for our survival on this planet. Fukuoka has long been a major, uh, a major trading center for Asia, but it has also been close to the dreaded smallpox and other infectious diseases. We are delighted to be holding uh, the, the FAVA Congress here in Fukuoka, which is a leader in One Health in Japan. 
The FAVA is an association of veterinary medical associations from 23 countries in the Asia Oceania region. It was established in 1978 and has been engaged in various activities with the aim of promoting cooperation among veterinarians in each region, cooperating in improving veterinary education and veterinary research and raising the status of the veterinary profession. On the day of the Congress, we will welcome 3,000 participants. You will stay in hotels and learn about the latest veterinary news for three days. Excursions and optional tours will also be available. In recent years, the planet has been struck by a number of disasters. The spread of COVID-19 is one of them and has become a major threat. And this is why we have created One Health, which is a global scale initiative. We believe that human health, animal health, and environmental protection should be considered as one. It's a social movement where medical doctors, veterinarians, environmental specialists, and researchers are not the only ones thinking and acting uh, together. Since the Berlin Declaration in 1993, the importance of One Health has been recognized and various initiatives have been taken worldwide. The Japan Veterinary Medical Association has been working on this issue since 2010. In 2010, JVMA made animal and human health is one, and that is the wish of Earth, the policy of its activities. In 2016, at the second international conference or Congress on One Health held in Fukuoka, the Fukuoka Declaration was adopted to act and practice the concept of One Health. In 2020, Fukuoka Prefecture One Health Promotion Basic Ordinance was enacted for the first time in Japan. Fukuoka, as a leading prefecture in One Health, has held the One Health, One Health Festival and the International Forum. In addition, we made a leaflet for the children who will be responsible for the next generation and distributed it to schools in the prefecture. We have also made direct recommendations to the Japanese central government on the importance of One Health and the need to address it. The government of Japan has been working on the One Health approach for a long time to tackle MR and avian flu. Fukuoka Prefecture is the first prefecture in Japan to enact an audience to implement the One Health approach. The government of Japan will continue to take measures against infectious diseases based on the One Health approach referring to Fukuoka Prefecture's efforts. During the three days of the Congress, there will be a special symposium on the theme of One Health approach from Asia an international forum on One Health in Fukuoka Prefecture and One Health Stream, which will lead to the agreement of Asia One Health Fukuoka Declaration 2022. The Japanese people's reverence for animals, planets, and nature is the embodiment of One Health. We want to take the One Health movement from here to Asia and beyond. Let's work together to protect our wonderful planet. We look forward to your participation. Fukuoka uh, is a city with a long history as gateway to Asia. It is one of the largest cities in Japan, but it is also a city of tradition and rich culture. From Fukuoka to Asia and from Fukuoka to the world, we're looking forward to welcoming you this autumn.